Hello, it's Charles Folkart, November 11, Veterans Day 2017. Welcome everyone, thank you for watching and supporting this channel. And thank you for not subscribing. <laughs> you gotta watch the other previous videos to get the import of that one. But uh, I just got back from the uh, Veterans Day Parade down there in Overton, Nevada. And it was underwhelming, just totally underwhelming. Um, be, but before I get into that a little bit, uh, remember the mouse in the house? Well, guess what? The mouse in the house is no longer. He just couldn't, or she couldn't resist the peanut butter, and, uh, I no longer have a mouse in the house. And I'll, before I forget, there's somebody over here uh, to my right behind me here that's been here before I got here and I drove up and they've been in that they have a little RV there like a van and I tell you what I haven't seen them get out of the van the whole this is one week today I've been here and this whoever this is over here they haven't got out of the van once that I've seen and that's, I think, is weird because they open the door and uh, to let, you know, when it gets warm, they open their door. But I've never seen them come outside, not once. And I'm outside all the time doing something. And, uh, and, and anyway, I, um, you know, it's, it's sad. Oh, I wanted to tell you about uh, Paul Craig Roberts. Remember the videos I talk about where people are coming my way? Well, guess who's coming my way? Paul Craig Roberts. See, he, he, he's more, much more well-known than I am. So he's got to be careful what he says. So he's not going to go out there on, on, uh, stretch out his neck and, uh, He's not going to say anything that's too, uh, like I can. I, I don't care what people think, but he's uh, more respected. He's got a, a reputation to consider and uh, protect and all that. But I want to show you something that he came out with uh, the last day or two. Let me get it for you. Hold on there. So here it is. It's on Zero Hedge, and uh, Paul Craig Roberts laments, I don't recognize my country today, okay? When I left the United States in 1999, I said the United States was finished. Well, this is different wording for Paul Craig Roberts, but uh, I'm not going to read the whole article, but he talks about how the, the, whole, the entire country, the people who lead and run and work in this country are incompetent, okay? My saying, the words that I use, is that we've become a third world country. United States is a third world country. And he, Paul Craig Roberts, uh, him and I, he has got a PhD in economics, and I just have a little uh, bachelor's degree in economics, but we both have the same field as a background. And... Uh, he talks about the uh, the incompetence of the foreign policy, the incompetence of the military-industrial complex, the incompetence of the media, the incompetence of the public schools, and he uses the and he talks about he was away from his home and while he was gone, somebody knocked the, knocked the power pole over and then instead of hooking it up the neutral wire correctly, they forgot to do it uh, the neutral power and so. All the electric in his home was fried. Okay? That's third world stuff, folks. Third world stuff there, folks. We live in a third world country, so get used to it. It's going to get worse because these people don't want to admit the truth. And another thing here is Dane Wigington. Let me get it. I'm going to pause so you don't have to watch a long video. So over at his um, website, geoengineering.org, uh, geoengineeringwatch.org, new U.S. government hearing on geoengineering amounts to criminal deception. 
criminal deception. He talks about all the the experts that get on there and lie and lie and lie with a straight face. I'm not going to read it all. Folks, John Tester, I, 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 I uh, thought about what he said to me. Tall Tales by Senator Tester. You know, it's just amazing what's going on in this country. And uh, in the majority, I was down there to, this afternoon. I saw it firsthand. I saw it firsthand how this country is so far gone. I didn't say a word to anybody about anything except when I went in, excuse me, I went into the hardware store to buy a extension cord. And this is how, how the Lord works. I've got so many extension cords back up in Kalispell that I don't need another extension cord, but I need another extension cord. So I went into the hardware store to buy one, and I needed to be 25 foot. And, I, and, and guess what? They had a very nice extension cord 25 footer on sale from 22.99 down to 7.99 that's how the of all the extension cords that was the only one on sale and that was exactly the one i needed and it's got the good connectors and everything you know we serve an awesome god now a lot of people say oh come on that's just uh you know come on that's a coincidence blah no it isn't no it isn't but anyway i want to end this up with some i was mistaken the uh, the the geoengineering pilots must have slept in today because when i got down there to to uh, the parade route and i and i and i was there with my camera this is what i saw i want to end this on uh, the geo geoengineering note the sky was covered i took these uh, this afternoon or this morning about 9 30 and i thought it was pretty appropriate here we are in a uh, support our troops parade and uh, Dane Wigington in that uh, video that he shows you there these experts are saying that they're not spraying folks that this is something they're thinking about doing in the future and they lie and lie and lie like I said with a straight face and uh, you know what I pointed it out to a couple of people. I just walk by people now today and I say hey you're being sprayed and I just walk on. I don't even say. I just point up. And uh, one guy was in the parking lot there at Lynn's. I, I, I pointed up and I said, hey, we're being sprayed. Or, You're being sprayed. He kind of laughed a little bit. Ha, 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 ha. You know, like, well, I don't want to think about that. And I got some other pictures here. Uh, hold on. I just thought uh, I had to show these American flags. And uh, and look at all that spray. They're playing tic-tac-toe up there. But hey, that's not really happening, folks. And uh, and John Tester tells us not to worry about it. Those are all contrails, folks. Don't worry about it. So here I'm at the very end of the parade route, uh, or the very beginning of the route. I'm to the north. This is looking to the south. And, uh, folks, it's all over the skies. And uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, that's over the area where Lake Mead is and the water supply to millions of people. Thank you for watching. Thank you for not subscribing to this channel. And uh, <laughs> may the grace of God, our Father Yahweh, may his grace be upon us all. Because, oh, I want to give thanks to Tall Oak. She's the one that sent me the video. Um on what YouTube was doing. I also want to thank uh, Joe there on the West Coast. And Joe, you might want to consider getting an RV when you move to uh, Twin Falls area and don't buy another house. And you could probably construct your own house. You probably got enough skills. Take you a little longer, but you could live in your RV while you're doing that. Just get out there in the country and build an off-grid house and uh, if you want if you want me to give you some uh some tips and pointers and advice uh, i'd be happy to do that and me and tall oak i had i think i've had the longest conversation i've ever had with tall oak the other day uh it was four hours 18 minutes and 44 seconds it's good to be able to talk to somebody that you can actually rant with and they understand what you're talking about and you you connect and also with joe him and i talked for over um 
over an hour, almost an hour, and I want to thank you for all for your kind uh, comments and your support and all that stuff, folks. It's it's good. Hey, we don't have a lot of views, but the people that are here are really good people, and I want to thank you, each and every one of you. If you want to talk on the phone, somehow get me your phone number. Uh, my email address is uh, on the video. I'll put it on this video. You can contact me. And please, please, get a hold of Daryl Barr and thank him for allowing us, me, to use his music clips on this channel. And if you can all afford it, please consider uh, acquiring his CDs from him that would be really a good way to support those who are supporting this channel. May the grace of God our Father be with us all. And I ask and I covet your prayers. Continue to pray. I'm going to have to move. I, I, I want to move from where I am close by. And there's still issues with the, the mini winnie and uh, other things. So I really ask you to pray. I really uh, appreciate your prayer. And may the grace of God our Father, the creator of the level plain earth and the firmament above, that's why the sky is blue, because there's water above there, folks. And may his grace be upon us all, for we most certainly need it. See ya. stars up in the sky but I just need one star to catch my eye I haven't found it but I know the light could take a million years